give me 10, 15 minutes. Exactly. Like, yeah, no, no, we don't bother, man. Walk away. Well, it's the following morning now after what was a dead duck yesterday evening in Dunluce Castle and we have come to an iconic location to get some photos. This is a place actually that has featured in the Game of Thrones. I think it was one scene that's been made very famous because of it and as a result of that more and more people are coming here, particularly from a tourist capacity and unfortunately some of the large um, tour buses have driven up this and actually damaged the trees as well, which is quite a disappointment. But it's actually really, really beautiful. The one thing about it is that you really don't don't get a nice shot of it until you use a zoom lens because you have to zoom all the way in to get a bit of compression within the scene because otherwise it just looks like as Patrick Murta says a what? A chip? No, a road of trees. <laughs> there was his opportunity but he missed it, it's okay. He was talking about it since yesterday he was going to call it the road of trees but he had his opportunity but it's okay, he missed it. No. So yeah, this is where we are this morning at the dark hedges and we are here for um, sunrise. Hopefully we get some nice light as the sun will pop up over the clouds that we have over here to be able to stream them from the side. So yeah, let's see how we get on this morning. Can you believe we are here taking a shot? And this guy, who is inverted commas, a professional photographer, decides to walk into our frame to take his shot and never even asks us, is it okay? So now we are dealing with this in our shot. I think it's quite inconsiderate, to be honest with you. But I don't own the road, but at least he could have actually said, guys, I'm just going to walk up there if you don't mind for a second. But he didn't. He put his head down. Complete rudeness. Yeah, he dropped his head. Yeah. Yeah. The sun is after coming up now and it's not broken the uh, clouds that are there but we are hopeful because it is a lot of clear skies which is probably unusual for us for this trip because we've been surrounded by cloud and rain since we've arrived but if the sun will get above those clouds it should stream in here then nicely and give a nice bit of side light as well onto the dark hedges. It's quite interesting because it really doesn't become an image until you actually use the zoom lens and by using that from a compressed scene it really does come to life. Now I have framed my shot which there are two bits of um, bracken that are up here that are taking a bit of orange color. So I've got, luckily they're on either side of the road. So that's framing it actually nicely for me. And then I'm going off into the distance then with the uh, trees or the dark edges as they kind of intertwine within the actual image. Settings as well at the moment here, I'm going for a couple of different types of shots. I'm going for uh, one which was at F4 because the photographer that I was giving out about earlier on has walked up to the very end of the road there, so I decided to try and get a couple of shots of them just to see if it would work out or not. And I went to F4 to get a fast shutter speed. And then I've gone back to my usual uh, 0.8 or uh, F11 um, to be able to get a further shot. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Thanks for uh, joining us this morning and hopefully we'll get rewarded with some nice light. No, that's okay. Okay. Hug each other there. Hug each other there. That's that's, 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 no, that's weird. pure game. <laughs> 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 Tell him hide my face. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I get your silhouette. Nobody will know it was you. That was a nice silhouette. Yeah. <laughs> this is trying to pretend to be just game. <laughs> we'd make a nice plaque in the wall. <laughs> Here he comes by straight down, crashing into us. 
How do I stop? <laughs> you want to look at something here which is quite interesting, right? So this is at 70 mil and it doesn't really look that interesting. But if I zoom in, as I said a moment ago, this then is where the image actually really comes to life because it uses the compression uh, within the scene. So that's it zoomed in at 200 mil. And if I zoom back out again, it's back at 70 and it doesn't really look anything interesting. It just looks like a road of trees, as Patrick would call it. I need you to start here and come see. So as you see here, Patrick is uh, walking back up, or he's walking towards the scene now. I thought he was walking back up from the scene. Okay, so here he goes. Patrick now is going to skateboard through the scene. And Dodd is going to follow him and get in my shot and block everything that I was doing. But that's okay. So yeah, that looks like it's a wrap here in the dark hedges. We didn't get much light actually, but the sun is coming up here now above a set of clouds and maybe, just maybe, we might get it to actually light up. Might hang around there and just get one final shot before we go, but yeah, it's been an interesting trip to Antrim so far. Didn't get any real light. It's been hidden behind clouds the whole time. So maybe, like I say, we'll get that in a moment. But yeah, I'm going to finish up this episode. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, from the dark hedges. Slanga <laughs> Fall. Now, should we press record now? Or? No, that's okay. I see it was recorded with the red light in the front. Right, right, right.